Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 93, and we are back in the Flying Lizard Porsche for round 8 of the R3 World Championship. Here is a recap of the standing so far, and hey, we're going to Sunset Peninsula for the first time in the uh, World Championships. So I guess if we weren't doing the full peninsula in the last race in the last segment, this would have been the first trip to uh, the peninsula. So, hey, there we go. So uh, we get to do 11 more laps at the peninsula, but this time in a Porsche, not a Viper. Also 11 laps, <laughs> as opposed to 3. Heck yeah, this will probably be an easy race if the AI is as slow around the peninsula as they are were in Forza 2. Which, judging by the last race in the uh, the Viper track day... Yeah, I think that's true. So, fourth on the grid as always, let's go. <laughs> okay, full points though. Oh, shit. Cameras? There we go. Oh, that's the correct camera. Alright, off we go. Now, what's gonna happen here in the first turn? Okay. Not as much, uh, brake slamming as I was expecting. Got the move on Evans. Around my, around my uh, impromptu teammate here. Yeah, 11 laps, because World Championship. Long races, bro. Gotta be careful because arrow is very important in race cars, so don't want to damage it. Especially in the oval. Like when we go around the oval, because, yeah, I'd rather not have more drag. Oh, shit. I love how they take such a deep line into that right hander, even though they could easily swing out wide like I do. And I think even the fucking, like, tire mark, rubber, uh, marks on the track also kind of uh, you know, suggest you do that okay, well, that was a somewhat unexpected pass on Muller there hey fanboy, <clears throat> hello voice How, how's your cracking? how's it cracking? Now let's catch Rossi. This goddamn Ferrari. It's OP Ferrari. Yes, there are fictional tracks in this game uniform. In fact, I'm driving on one right now. Oh shit, okay. I see Rossi isn't going to uh, let me pass easily. Yeah, even the tire marks suggest, hey, you should swing out wide for this turn, but they just don't. Congratulations, and I just kind of empty boxed my way around him. Alright. That was beautiful. Steer, how you doing? What about Sedona? Sedona is also a fictional track. Alright, two laps down, nine to go. And we have the lead, and we're not looking back, I can tell you that much right now. Figuratively. Like, literally, I just looked back, but, you know. image queue, I can't look at it for like another 10 minutes. 
yeah, this game has a lot of DLC. Can't get it anymore because of licensing uh, expiration. But the game used to have a lot of DLC cars and a couple DLC tracks. Hey, Fab. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're good. And we are driving away. I mean, if someone wants to build their own Sedona, I would not oppose that because I love Sedona, especially the club circuit. Sedona Club Circuit is one of my favorite tracks in gaming. Any DLC tracks come to mind? I I think Motegi is one of them. I think. Or no, we've been racing at Motegi. Never mind. Shit. I'm not sure, actually. No Road America is vanilla in this game. Maybe there weren't any DLC track. Well, there was like, well, there was the second disc that had the uh, like benchmark track place, which was just like this airfield that had some random ass shit on it. Other than that, I don't, I don't really remember if there were any DLC tracks in this game, to be honest. Okay, interruptions, anyways. So that's what this stream has been made of. Interruptions after interruption after interruption after interruption. I'm take it was DLC in Grand Turismo, yeah. In 5, yeah. Ray, I have a 4 second lead, oh boy. Yeah, I probably could have used my Commodore for this race, considering how shit they are at this track. Oh well. I've committed to the Flying Lizard, so... <laughs> nah, I didn't get confused with GT5 Skyfall. I think it was... Because I think Motegi's DLC track in Forza 2. I think, that's, I think that's what got me confused. Yes, I think it is. Fucking, I don't even know anymore. I, I, I don't know. It's been far too long. Since I even cared about DLC. This is the penultimate race of the R3 Championship Fab, so that's no, nope, still not quite done with this. Okay. Just cruising right along in our Porsche. Going a lot slower than my best lap. gradually pulling away from Rossi and they're god damn it I keep going too wide in this next to this turn it's like oh okay I can just fucking gas out of here no I can't I keep breaking way too soon it's doing all kinds of things wrong yeah I know there's there's DLC races in force of four Skyfall Trust me, I, I used to be, you know, semi-competitive man in Forza, I know all about that. Then again, that, that kind of, that statement is just contradicts my whole, I don't remember what the DLC was, so shut up, man. Don't mind me. Alright, I'm driving like shit. 
absolute turd burgers. Now, six laps complete. That's the halfway point officially, so time for in car. With the much uh, better FOV than what I was using earlier in the LP. This is where the real fun begins, because I really enjoy driving this car in the interior view. At least I'm winning. Yeah, I'm winning by too much, though. I want, I want to be challenged, goddamn. Oh, crap. Okay, we're good. Excuse me. That just kind of came out of nowhere. Back onto the banking. This car steers too well, it can't be smooth. Like, I'm barely turning the analog stick and it's just jerking. So much downforce. So much downforce. Oh, that was too late. I tried to break a little later, that was a bad idea. I wonder where the two supercar, V8 supercars are in this field. Hopefully they're fighting for fifth and not last. Just, you know, for personal preference. And bias. Oh, we are sliding the shit out of the car, okay. I wonder how my tires are doing, as far as wear. Barely any, only 10%, okay. It's actually a lot less than I was expecting. I was expecting somewhere in the 20 to 30 range. Guess they lower tire wear from between 4s to 2 and 3. Three laps to go. Hey, I finally ran another 26. About time. Can't look at that right now, Ludo. second lead. Almost 13. Fast lap here. Nope. But it's our first clean lap, so it's going to go in the best lap category. Despite it not actually being my best lap. Which means I need to go faster now. Okay, the dank is back.
I'm being quiet. Whoops. Hope that was a good enough exit. By far my best lap. All right, it's twenty-six one. There we go. Now I have a lap worthy of being counted as my best lap. Oh fuck! Okay. Well, this lap isn't going to be any better. lost control of your life? I don't know. At least you're making chocolate, or at least you're not making chocolate pudding. this race by literally almost a mile. Unbelievable how much they suck around this track. But there we go. Very, very easy race for me. Now, how much did I win by? Holy crap, that difference in lap time. Do I always play an in-car? No. You, you, you've seen me out of the car uniform. What, what the fuck have you been watching? Oh, hey, I won by 19 seconds. Nice. Of course, Rossi finished second because it's Rossi. Now, where is the other half going to finish? Or when's the other half going to finish, I should say? Okay. 16 seconds behind Evans. 41 behind me. <laughs> and there they go. Esposito finishing last in the Commodore, you fuck. That makes him tied with Jones for 7th uh, in points, oh boy. With one race to go! In the R3 Championship. Nice little payout. And 26,000 more credits because we did this in season play mode. Sweet. So there we go. That just leaves one more race to go in the R3 World Championship. And next time on Forza 3. Hmm. I'll figure out what I'm doing next time. So I have an idea. Stay tuned.